I'm upset with our Lions people here at Woodward right now. I'm upset with Matt Broder, Terry Foster, all of them. And the reason why is I had to find this out on my own. Breaking Detroit Lions news. I'll give Jeff Risden the credit for this one. The Detroit Lions hosted Riz. Tom Kennedy for a free agent visit. Kennedy! Who, Kennedy! Who, Mike Gentry? Kennedy! Mr. Tom Kennedy for a free agent visit. So you know what that means, man. Coffee D-Mac. bet is back the on track, Flannel. coffee bet with Sam Flannel. Suck You're not it, off Flannel. the hook yet. You're not off the hook, Flannel. They're saying there's a chance. TK, now, what is that coffee bet, by the way? One reception this One year. One reception. One reception in a, a regular season. Correct. Game. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you made he said, the bet. Well, he, said, he said it would count two in the playoffs. Uh, yeah, of course it would. It double. Catch one in the playoffs, I'm more than two. That is huge news. That is quite possibly, to me, the biggest piece of Detroit Lions news that you will see this season. Only, only second, the only news that could be bigger is if he signed on the dotted line. Let's see, baby steps. Get baby this steps. man in the fold. Get It's road game this weekend. That's Tom Kennedy's time to shine. It's Tom Kennedy time. People TKT, thought TKT baby Tom Kennedy time. We might have to make the shirts. Tom Kennedy and people who can forget Tom Kennedy in the Big Apple last year. Incredible big catches on third down against the Jets. Huge catches. He's done more in New York than Aaron Rodgers has. That's facts. 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 That's facts. I would have been happier if you said, you know, linebacker and stuff like that. No, not D Mac. This transcends. I, I, I like it. I didn't have a linebacker for coffee, so I mean, it, it plays. Here on Mark M, bring TK eighty five home. Bring Ryan's home. reaction. Everyone's giving. Give me your favorite Tom Kennedy fact in the chat. Ryan's reaction. Just saying, we didn't have Tom Kennedy and we lost to the Packers. It's true. Facts. Give me your favorite Tom Kennedy fact. In the chat, we're gonna do a whole Tom Kennedy segment. No one else in Detroit can pull this off. We can, we can. D Mac, I don't know who you got to talk to. You you talked to Dan Campbell before. Can you can you request a conference? Can you get in his ear? Well, the weather's gonna you know slowly and surely um, get a little bit worse around here. So I'm waiting for that coffee bet. You know, probably in about three weeks, right around the Christmas time. Right, so so uh, don't. In the next thing you know, they're TK eighty five in the practice squad. Next thing you know, you know he's dressing for a game. Next thing you know, he's got a catch for another win on the road. Yeah, absolutely. Like, let's go. It looks like Brad Holmes' lineup is road dogs. Uh, let's go, Red Wings, Sparty. Don't let Kennedy go to Dallas, though. Think about that. It's not only you signing Tom Kennedy TK eighty five. It's you not allowing him to go somewhere else. There you go. I know everybody was worried. Absolutely. Uh, let me see here. Woodwardsports.com chat thread. Jonesy5182. Spenny, what if the Pistons sign TK85? Hey, you could probably hit it in the corner. Bada, bada bing, bada boom. I'm always a fan of names like That's that. That's what it's all about. Uh, what was the other one we had? Uh, Dr. Clappin' Dr. Clap and Cheeks. I'm curious to get Dr. Clappin' and Cheeks taste, yeah, take <laughs> on TK85. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. TK85 was more important than JFK35. Let's go Red Wings. Sparty says, TK85 bought my mom donuts the next day, unlike that bum Corey Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need TK85 to start ruffling some feathers in the locker room a little bit, if you know what I mean. Woodwardsports.com, chat thread, Pete Smith. If Tom Kennedy were at quarterback, Barry would have won a Super Bowl. That fact, is true. Facts only. That is a fact. Absolutely facts only. Oh, yeah, big squirt Burt. Where is, where's he at? <laughs> we need him to tie him for sure. I think top five list next week. Names. Top five names in the Woodwardsports.com <laughs> chat thread. That's fair. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Jay Singles, TK85, as many touchdown passes as Jerry Rice. There you go. Got to tip my cap to that one. 
Jack Stark, can we get TK85 on the show? Yes. Oh, man. we got to get Maz on there. I, no, I will take the lead on this they one. failed us on Milt Plum. Yeah. Absolutely. And the next thing you knew, Milt Plum was on, what, Monday Night Foot, Sunday Night Football, Monday Night Football graphics. Yeah. yeah. We didn't talk about that enough. I think I, I might have been out of town the next day. I can't remember. I think that we single-handedly put Milt Plum on that graphic. I honestly believe that. Big Con 51, I thought you were going to say something like Hendon Hooker is practicing. No. No. That is not. Flint Town, CJ, TK85, better quarterback than wide receiver. So, you know, again, make it happen. We do this. I guarantee you a playoff victory. Bada bing, bada boom. TK85 makes onions cry. Ooh. Nice. Woodwardsports.com chat poll, Spemo. What'd you put up there? I put who's the better wide receiver, Tom Kennedy, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, or Terrell Owens. Get your vote out there. All I know is Connor Bedard asked Tom Kennedy to bang his mom. So. <laughs> he prayed on it. Yeah. And that's, that's the difference <laughs> right there. Uh, Tom Kennedy, out in the lead, has 76% of the vote right now. Yeah. Who's the greatest wide receiver of all time? Joseph Campbell. He's the Michael Jordan of the NFL. Mm -hmm. He absolutely is. So again, big breaking news. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but let's just let's just put it out there that Tom Kennedy 85 has in fact talked to the Detroit Lions.